Chapter 4 of To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee begins with Scout finding two pieces of Wrigley's double mint gum in a knot hole of a tree on the Radley property. She is thrilled about her find and begins chewing it, much to Jem's horror when he discovers where she got it from. He convinces her to spit it out, scaring her with thoughts of it being poisoned, considering it came from the Radleys. The next school day brings another surprising discovery when she spots two small images carved out of soap in the same knot hole, resembling Jem and Scout. They realize that Boo Radley must have done it as he's been watching them. Intrigued by these gifts, they find other items in the tree over time, including an old pocket watch and an aluminum knife. Jem and Scout write a thank you note to whoever is leaving the gifts. They plan to drop it into the knot hole on their way to school, but they discover that the hole has been filled with cement. Upon inquiring why Mr. Radley, Nathan Radley, Boo's brother, replies that the tree was sick and it's a common practice to fill the holes of a dying tree with cement. From the start of the summer, Scout becomes more and more attached to Dill and their bonds deepens with shared stories and adventures. When Dill proposes to Scout, a childish pact, she feels honored and accepted, but that doesn't change her relationship with Jem, who is still her regular playmate. Meanwhile, they get fascinated by the idea of making Boo come out, and they design a play around his life story, enacting it for their own amusement. Not realizing that they are mocking Boo's painful isolation, and their innocent fun becomes a means to ridicule someone else's suffering. The chapter concludes with a peculiar act of Jem, who had been observing the tree, feels that the tree didn't appear to be sick and confronts Mr. Radley's lie about it dying. Such summations made by Jem show his character maturing, developing increased perception and depth of understanding. Throughout this chapter, Lee focuses on the key themes of childhood innocence, curiosity, and the beginnings of maturity.